bandwidth is crucial for live streaming and having enough or too little could make the difference between a successful production and a failed one. So how much bandwidth do you need for smooth streaming? It's a simple question, but the answer is actually a little more complex. First, be sure you're paying attention to the right kind of bandwidth, because download bandwidth is what you're using right now to watch this video, whereas upload bandwidth is what you're using when you're sending out content like you do when you're streaming. Then take into account your video and audio bit rates, measured in megabits per second. Most streaming platforms will specify a bit rate based on your target resolution, and you can find these recommendations easily enough with a quick search term like YouTube encoding settings. Next, you're going to want to plug in these numbers into a simple formula. You're going to add your video and audio bit rates and multiply that by 1.5, and the result is how much upload bandwidth you'll need for smooth streaming. If you're sending your stream to more than one destination, remember to add the bit rate of any other parallel programs to the calculation. But keep in mind that bandwidth isn't necessarily the same as network speed. Bandwidth is the maximum amount of data your network can theoretically transfer per second, whereas network speed is the actual amount of data that you're transferring in that exact moment. Because unfortunately, internet speeds fluctuate for all kinds of reasons. Major factors include how many devices are sharing the network, what those devices are doing, and also the kind of connection you're using for streaming. We strongly recommend streaming over Ethernet rather than Wi-Fi for a more stable and predictable connection, and use a dedicated network if possible, or ask other network users to limit their activity while you're streaming. Essentially, tell your wife, your kids, your roommate, the neighbor next door that likes to steal your Wi-Fi that their Netflix binge session is going to have to wait. If you have a particularly bothersome Wi-Fi leash in the home, maybe consider changing the Wi-Fi password during streaming time. A free tool like speedtest.net can tell you your internet speed right now, or if you have a Perl system, you can run a speed test from the admin panel or even right from the front screen, which is pretty handy. So there you have it. There's your primer on bandwidth. For more detail, check out our blog on the topic. If you're watching this on YouTube, then there will be a link in the description so you can check that out. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.